This episode of Marijuana Today Daily is brought to you by our friends over at Ease.com, California's top one-stop website for legal marijuana delivery, and now a national provider of hemp-derived CBD products via mail delivery over at their new website, EaseWellness.com, with Ease being spelled E-A-Z-E. Ease Wellness is now available in 41 U.S. states, and you can check out for yourself if you live in one of those lucky places over at EaseWellness.com. And don't forget, if you live in California, you just need to open up Ease.com to see all the legal adult-use marijuana products up for offer there. With Ease orders being delivered in less than an hour and Ease Wellness products getting to your door four to six business days after you hit submit, it's getting easier and easier by the day to take delivery of legal marijuana products with Ease. Find out just how easy it can be by swinging over to Ease.com and EaseWellness.com. Big thanks to everyone at ease for supporting today's news. Good morning, Marijuana Nation. It's Friday, December 21st, 2018, and you're tuned in to episode 634 of Marijuana Today Daily. I'm your host, Shay Gunther, and I'll be walking you through today's marijuana news and headlines. As always, we have a full and busy day of cannabis news in our hands, so let's jump right into it. Our top story as we head into our holiday break is a pretty big one, as yesterday the U.S. Food and Drug Administration issued a statement clarifying their new authority over industrial hemp and all the consumable products that can be derived from it. This follows the signing of the 2018 Farm Bill by our criminal president, setting industrial hemp free to be grown and processed and sold. The statement released yesterday by FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb is long and worth the click over, so I'd direct you over to New Cannabis Ventures to give that a full read. In his statement, Commissioner Gottlieb talks about the popularity of CBD and some of the restrictions and regulations for how it can be used and marketed. He also touched upon the pharmaceutical drug Epidiolex, which was recently approved by his agency as the first such drug to be made from cannabis. 2019 is going to be an enormous year for hemp, and you should start things off on the right foot by having a solid handle on how the FDA is going to handle it. Open this one up. Another big headline sits on our number two spot today as the Altria Group, a large corporation with holdings in alcohol and tobacco, including Marlboro cigarettes, is making an investment in the vape company Juul just weeks after it announced it was investing $1.8 billion into Canadian licensed marijuana company, the Kronos Group. The deal for Juul is big as the Altria Group is spending $13 billion buying into the company. Besides the obvious connection with the Kronos Group, this headline also sits on our top stories today because the Juul company was a spin-off product from the company Pax, makers of the marijuana-focused Pax Vaporizer line. Jumping up to Canada, we have the Canadian government releasing a first draft of the regulations that will go into place next year, regulating legal marijuana edibles, concentrates, and topicals. You can swing over to Yahoo Finance to find a link through to that draft yourself because it's always a good habit to drill down to source materials. But in short, the regulations are marked by extremely limited caps on the amount of THC that will be allowed in edibles, with 10 milligrams being set as the maximum potency per package. For those unfamiliar with edibles and potency, 10 milligrams is an extremely low amount of THC for an entire package. Colorado State mandates that their edibles be sold with serving sizes being no more than 10 milligrams, but Canada wants to set that to the max for the entire package. One industry watcher up north compared the limited potency to light beer. There's a lot of time between now and when those rules will go into effect, so there's likely to be some changes imposed on the way. Swing over for the full read. Those are our top stories for today. It's time for Marijuana Today Daily Headlines Blitz. Before we blitz out on headlines, let's quickly thank our sponsor, Ease.com, California's top one-stop website for legal marijuana delivery, and now a national provider of hemp-derived CBD products via mail delivery over at their new website, EaseWellness.com. If you live in one of the 41 states where Ease Wellness is active and you get your order in today, you'll get a free select vape stick thrown in for good measure. If you've been looking for a trusted and reputable source of hemp-derived CBD medicine, then look no further than easewellness.com. Swing over that away to see if you live in a state where Ease Wellness is active. And if you do, then get your order in. 
Californians just need to open up ease.com. And if it's during legal delivery hours there, those orders will show up in less than 60 minutes. Big, big thanks to all the good folks over at Ease for helping make today's news possible. All right, time for the Blitz. Ohio State now has a fully licensed legal marijuana pipeline. On Wednesday, state inspectors gave a final sign-off to North Coast Testing Laboratories to begin operations after the testing lab passed its final inspection. That clears up the last link in the chain that can now move medical marijuana products in Ohio from seed to customer. Bounding over to Connecticut, we have a story of medical marijuana-related injustice. Abigail Peck is a teacher and a former registered medical marijuana patient in Florida who moved to the state of Connecticut earlier this year. Ms. Peck applied for a job to teach in her new home state and quickly found a position at the Tinker Elementary School in Waterbury. This is where the injustice begins. Prior to signing a contract, Ms. Peck informed the school that she had an autoimmune disease that she treated with medical marijuana as a registered patient in Florida. The school initially asked her to provide documentation of her legal status in Florida and to get certified to use medical cannabis in Connecticut, which she did. That seemed to clear things up in terms of her employment, but just weeks after she thought she was done jumping through hoops, the district informed her that she would not be hired because she was not not a registered Connecticut medical marijuana patient during the time that she was using medical cannabis as a registered Florida medical marijuana patient. Ms. Peck has filed a lawsuit against the school district, and I wish her the best of luck. 164 people have applied to become the first chief marijuana regulator in the state of Utah. Utah state lawmakers passed a medical marijuana bill in a special legislative session last month after voters approved a more liberal and progressive medical cannabis ballot measure. Yesterday, Rhode Island Governor Gina Raimondo talked about the realities of being surrounded by states with legal adult-use cannabis during a radio interview, saying that she was, quote, more open to it than I have ever been, unquote. Joey Pena over at Marijuana Business Daily writes about the new set of rules that California adult-use operators will have to follow in the new year in regards to testing their marijuana products. With stringent new requirements for the testing of heavy metals and toxins from molds expected to increase the costs and complexities of bringing a product to market. Definitely read this one if you do business in the Golden State. New Cannabis Ventures has a very short but potentially impactful story about the Canadian giant Canopy Growth, which pulled in more than $4 billion in investment money earlier this year from Constellation Brands. Canopy Growth CEO Bruce Linton released a somewhat cheeky press release in response to the newly passed 2018 Farm Bill legalizing industrial hemp, simply reading, quote, Thanks to a deep hemp-specific portfolio of intellectual property acquired from Colorado-based Ebu Inc. and a landmark investment of $4 billion U.S. from Constellation Brands, management believes it is well-positioned to enter the U.S. market quickly. More details will follow in the new year. Here's to future growth. Unquote. Canopy is coming. Our final story before I leap joyfully into another holiday break has us wrapping up in Vermont, where VT Digger picked up on an interesting part of a set of recommendations for rolling out adult use sales that were made by the state's Marijuana Advisory Commission, which just submitted a final report to the governor and state lawmakers over how a taxed and regulated sales system could be set up. The interesting twist is the recommendation that Vermont wait until it has a way to quantify how impaired a person is on cannabis to drive, specifically via the use of a saliva test. As I've talked about many, many times here on the show, there is no comparable version of that test for cannabis as there is for alcohol. There is currently no scientifically valid way for anyone to quantify any measure of how impaired a person is on cannabis. If there is a way to do that, we have not yet found it. But that doesn't stop a lot of lawmakers from insisting that something be done. We'll see how things go in Vermont. Those are the headlines and news for the day. I'll be back with you again after the holiday break on Wednesday, January 2nd with another information-packed episode of Marijuana Today Daily. But in the meantime, if you have any stories to share or feedback to give, zip us an email to headlines at mjtodaydaily.com. And while you're clicking around the interwebs, swing over to our Twitter account at mjtodaydaily and visit our website at mjtodaydaily.com to find links to all the news we cover. Thanks to our sponsor, Ease, and to all of our awesome patron listeners for the support that makes this show possible. 
To join the illustrious ranks of the patron listeners yourself, swing over to our website at mjtodaydaily.com and click on the big blue button at the top of the page that says, become a patron. I'm your host, Shay Gunther. Thanks for tuning in and starting your day with marijuana today. Today. One take, Shay. One take.